Hi, my name is Luanne Wise and I wanted to share with you today some important privacy settings that you should know about on your LinkedIn profile. To access these from your desktop, you can also do it from a mobile, but from a desktop, you'd be logged into your profile, go along the top, find the drop down next to your photo and find settings and privacy. Now, I believe that LinkedIn should be a living document, something that you keep updated regularly, and therefore you don't need to let everyone know about every small amend that you make. So I will be looking in the visibility section and the visibility of your activity. And the first thing I would do would be to make sure that I switch off sharing job changes, education changes, work anniversaries from alerting my network if I'm updating those things. Of course, if I did have a big job change I wanted people to know about, I would want to make sure that that was switched on. But for the most of the time when I'm making small changes, small tweaks to keep everything up to date, I would advise having that switched to no. The second setting um, that I think is important, and it is worth your time looking through all of these options that are available in your LinkedIn profile, but it's to have a look at who can see your connections. When you are connecting with people on LinkedIn, exchanging business cards, as a default, your connections, your first level of connections, they're called, would be able to have a look at, through everyone else that you're connected to. And you might not want them to do that, particularly if you're connecting to competitors. So I would recommend that you switch that from being all of your connections to just you. Keep back that important asset of your business, your database of connections. You cannot hide from people who you mutually have in common, but you can hide the majority of your connections list from everyone that you connect to. The third setting that I think is important to switch off to protect you is to switch off a section of your LinkedIn profile called viewers of this profile also viewed. When you have a look at people's LinkedIn profiles, you would see perhaps down the right hand side, a gray box of 10 people who are similar to that profile. It may be their colleagues, but it's most likely to be competitors. It's the 10 people that get looked at most often alongside the profile that you're looking at. I would hide this and um, you don't want to alert people to your potential competitors and distract them and allow them to go off elsewhere. But at the same time, if you're doing business development, absolutely go and look for this gray box so that you can find your next hot prospects. To switch it off, this is in the account preferences section and down to site preferences. And it's right here. Viewers of this profile also viewed. I would choose to have that switched off. A really useful setting on LinkedIn is to know that you can switch off your visibility when you're looking at people's profiles. Sometimes you may want to let people know you're having a look at their profiles. Other times you may be researching, having a look around, and you just don't want to leave your footprint. You can change this on and off as much as you want to. I would recommend as a default, you leave this as visible. But if you're doing research um, or sometimes professional stalking, as I might call it, you may want to go into a private mode. So go into visibility and scroll down. It's in this section. Profile viewing options. We can see here being fully visible when you look at someone's profile, or you could go anonymous. This is useful. And when you're in anonymous mode, no one will know that you've been looking at their profile. If you switch it back to fully visible, it won't alert people for when you were in that anonymous mode. So don't worry about it. This is useful, but just make sure you know it's there and which mode you're in, depending on what you're using LinkedIn for. I hope you found this top tip useful. Um, there is more in this YouTube playlist. And if you've got any questions, then get in touch.